will vaccines work against this delta variant let's see what research is telling hello my dear friends i am poonam and you are watching biology explained i have talked in details about delta variant in two of my shorts video i will provide the link in the description today i am going to talk about the effect of vaccine on the delta variant let's start with oxford astrazeneca vaccine also known as covid shield in india the vaccine is a chimpanzee adenovirus vector vaccine earlier study published in lancet said that the vaccine has a overall efficacy of 66.7% when the dose gap is increased to 12 weeks its efficacy increases to 81.3% while less than 6 weeks the efficacy is 55.1% and it also showed 100% protection against hospitalization 21 days after the first dose things to note here is that this data was on earlier variants like the original wuhan variant and to some extent on the alpha variant The virus is evolving as well our understanding and research is also evolving. Recently a study from Scotland was published in Lancet which said that Oxford vaccine was 60% effective on delta variant as compared to 73% on alpha variant. Another study from UK also showed similar results like 59.8% effectiveness of the vaccine on delta variant. Note These were only possible after two doses of the vaccine. Single dose of the vaccine showed only 33% effectiveness in the UK study. So basically two doses of the vaccine is required to get good immunity against delta variant. Press release from Public Health England said that covid shield is 92% effective against hospitalization after two doses against the delta variant. There is lot of debate going in India about the gap between the two dose. I personally think the gap should be kept at least 8 weeks to get better coverage, but most important is that two doses of the vaccine should be administered to everyone. Let me know in the comment about your thoughts on the dose gap about Covishield vaccine. Next we will talk about Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. It is a mRNA vaccine. quite new technology this vaccine was found to have an effectiveness of 95% it is a two dose vaccine one dose is given on day 0 and the other one after 21 days however some countries have modified this schedule now the recent study from scotland found that the vaccine was 79% effective against delta variant after two doses as compared to 92% against alpha variant Another UK study found that it was 87.9% effective against delta variant when two doses were administered. However, one dose gave only 33% protection. It was found that the neutralizing antibodies were 5.8 fold reduced against this delta variant. However, this vaccine imparts 96% protection against hospitalization. against delta variant after two doses next we will talk about the russian vaccine sputnik v sputnik v also is a adenovirus vector based vaccine however here the adenovirus is human adenovirus 26 and human adenovirus 5 it also needs two doses of the vaccine and they should be given 21 days apart however the time interval can be extended to 3 months In India this vaccine is now available and it is produced by Dr Reddy's lab. The vaccine has showed 91.6% efficacy in the phase 3 trial. Recently a tweet came out which claimed that Sputnik V is effective against Delta variant and they have submitted the data. However, the article is not peer reviewed yet. I do not have the preprint of the article. So for now this is what I know about Sputnik V. on delta variant next we will talk about indian vaccine covaxin it is an inactivated virus vaccine that is a sars cov2 virus is inactivated and then injected in our body it was found to be 78% effective from the phase 3 trial data according to the press release on 21st of april 2021 
and it was 100% effective against severe COVID-19. It is also a two-dose vaccine and it is administered 28 days apart. It was found to be effective against B1617 variant. Now recently, they have submitted a paper claiming that it is effective against Delta variant as well. They have collected serum from 20 COVID-19 recovered person and 17 people who has been vaccinated with two doses of Covaxin. And they saw whether it can neutralize the Delta variant. According to them, although there was a reduced neutralization, but there was well-established neutralization potential by the vaccine against the Delta variant. In this case also, two doses of the vaccine is required to get a protection against Delta variant. Note that the study from Ames have said that breakthrough infection, that is infection even after fully vaccinated, is possible with both Covishield and Covaxin. However, it seems the symptoms would be milder in most cases. So what should be our take-home lesson from all this data? Firstly, we should get ourselves vaccinated as soon as possible because vaccine is going to impart protection against COVID-19 even if it is bit less, it does not matter. It's always more protection than no vaccination. And two doses of the vaccine is essential to get maximum protection. So don't hesitate for the second dose. Even after vaccination, follow the COVID norms like washing your hand, wearing mask, maintaining physical distance, and if possible, stay at home. That's it for today, guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.